Welcome to Incom Solutions. My name is Jake, and today we're going to be talking about integrating your MeshTastic device with ATAC, which is the Android Team Awareness Kit, which is an application, obviously, that you download to, well, an Android device. There is, I believe, iOS or Apple iPhone uh, applications, but sorry, but I am an Android user, so therefore that is all I am familiar with. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, we're not going to talk really a whole lot about ATAC itself. I will provide some links uh, to some great content creators that do talk more about just the application and all the things it can be used for. Today, we're mostly just going to be talking about how to get your you know, device like this T-Echo uh, up and running and using ATAC within uh, using the... This is your radio because they are radios because um, ATAC can be integrated with multiple different types of radios. And we'll be looking at some of those in person in the future. Hint, hint, uh, probably late June. Um, we'll take a look at the Beartooth ones in person. So, but that's that's aside. So if you're here, this is my uh, disclaimer. If you're here, it's probably because you already know uh, some of the value that ATAC can provide you, and that's what you're here for. Uh, if you have no idea what ATAC is, go check out some other videos as I provide the links down below. And then maybe you'll see where you might want to integrate it into um, a tool that you use for your communications. Um, <clears throat> so where we're going to sit when we start with this video Obviously, you're going to need at least two Mestastic devices up and running, updated with the latest stable firmware or whatever version you prefer. Right now, 2.3.6, I'll put it here in the video, is the most recent stable version. They rolled back the last version because there were some issues. Note, I've been playing around with this for over a month and... On some of the other versions I was using originally firmware, Mestastic firmware, um, I had some different results. So we'll talk those a little bit towards the end. But <clears throat> what you're gonna need, obviously, as I mentioned, two of these at minimum, two Android devices at minimum, uh, the Mestastic app downloaded to your phone or your tablet, whatever it is, and everything configured and up and running. That's where you're going to need to be today to follow along. So if you have all that, you have firmware updated, your devices are up and running, you can send messages through the MeshTastic app from one radio to the other, you're ready to start. Okay, so we're going to jump over to some screen sharing uh, while I download the, the plugin and get it set up in ATAC. Okay, so you're going to start at GitHub. I'll provide the link down below, but it is github.com slash messastic slash ATAC dash plugin. Uh, you go on here and you're going to see right here, it's going to show you the most recent version 1.0.21. Uh, you might be tempted to go to code, go down here and see that download zip. That's not where you want to go to get the APX file. There's some good notes here, the whole readme. I already have my settings set up in ATAC because I've been using it, so um, I don't need to go in and change these settings. But read through this, make sure you get your uh, you go into settings on ATAC and get it set up correctly so that it works uh, the way it's supposed to. Keep scrolling down, and you're going to see here. Get to the bottom. See where it says the release or releases 21. Uh, the latest, you're going to click on latest. You're going to go down and see that APX file, that first one on the top. You're going to click on that, and then you're going to go ahead. You know, it may vary depending on your device. I just click download link. I already have it downloaded. We'll go over and check that. So on your device, you should look for, when you go into the file, your files, you should see installation files or APK. Click on that. Notice here I have that file right there at the top. 
which is the version number is just, that's the way to verify because I had an older version in here, but the, uh, it was like 1.0.1 something. Uh, now this is the latest version. If you click on it now, the first time you download it, it's going to say, hey, install. You need to click on it to install it. Uh, in this case, I can, hey, click update, just if there was an update. I, I tried that on the older version, and it didn't update to the newest version, so um, it's something you might have to play with as new versions come out. It may be in my device. I don't know. So that's now that it's installed, we're going to go over to the ATAC app. Okay. So ATAC is loading. And I already have it set up. So we're just going to kind of go through this. Um, first thing you're going to notice, see in here in the corner, see the little green, you know, uh, mystastic icon, the uh, empowered icon. Uh, as soon as everything gets set up, it'll go in there. But go, you're going to go over to the menu and you're going to go down. A lot of times what your application will do is it will notice there's a new app, there's a new plugin it will recognize it and say, hey, do you want to load? Notice how it says loaded application, load this new plugin. And you're going to click yes. So here, notice I, my only options right here is I can check the version number and I can either uninstall it or cancel. There's nothing really else you can do there. Once you're over here, we'll wait for this thing to sync up. Um, but then you can go to like your communications thing. You can go to your chat rooms. You can do team chats. You can create different chats, but you go over here. So I want to point out something on the previous firmware version. I was using 2.3.4 when I would send a message within, um, now I should haven't tried that. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, th notice the username on that one is crazy numbers and symbols that was sent through the meshtastic app not in atac uh, so i just wanted to test that because i know when i send messages like you know hi here it's going to show up on my other device that is connected to my other phone in atac but you don't see it. Well, I don't have one. I should have my T deck up. But either way, if you want privacy, I have a video on that. It will be linked down below. So, but as you see here, there's lots of different things. There's canned messages. See these default messages? You can go through, I'll just show you kind of some of them. Uh, like default one that, you know, there's a Roger one, there's a uh, at LLC, there's at this at breach they're they're military based most of them at the dz uh, drop zone helicopter or helo landing zone hlz in position all secure um as you see there's a lot of defaults i'm not 100 percent sure if there's a way you could go through and uh edit the, those i don't think there is but maybe um but Still cool, um, and the biggest thing I think is awesome about ATAC is the mapping features and some of the other data you can import, like AD, uh, ADSB, which is the air, airplanes. You can see airplanes. I mean, look, here's an H-60 flying right now. No, I added that to the map just for fun. Um, but there's a lot of cool features that I think people, as you start messing around with it, will start to learn how cool it is. I'm going to start loading new maps here in the future, but that's not what this video is about. Let's wrap this up. All right. So to wrap up, um, it, you won't receive messages if you send them through the ATAC app outside of the application, right? Meaning if I send a message within the application, even on the default Mestastic channel, it's only received to devices that are configured with the plugin in ATAC. Now, if someone else has ATAC and they have everything configured, they will probably receive the message. Now, if I close the app or just, you know, switch to the Mestastic app, 
um, and I send a message to another device that is also configured, guess what? I receive it, it just doesn't have the name that I've assigned it, the call sign I've assigned it within the MeshTastic app as you saw there uh, previously. So uh, I hope you found this useful. If you have questions, I'm sure you'd, a lot of you might. Uh, I will provide a whole lot of links to some great channels like S2 Underground has a lot of great ATAC videos. If you're just learning about ATAC, uh, was it the, the TAC Syndicate has a great channel about all kinds of things that you can do with ATAC. So I would check out his channel also. We might do some future videos on it as we learn and develop if there's interest because it is definitely a tool, I believe, that could be utilized in the emergency communication spaces. That's what we're talking about here on Namecom Solutions. So if you found all this interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You check out our website, our social media links, everything else down below, and stay tuned for more great videos. Thanks for watching.